This is the Koozie Corner by me, Chris Cusimano. It's your weekly announcement, about a minute or so, probably gonna be longer than that. I'll be explaining what's going on in the housing market that keep you educated so you can make the best decisions for you and your family. And so what's happened is recently is a, what's called an inverted yield curve or reverse yield curve. And every time this curve has occurred in the last 50 years, a recession has soon followed. Imagine if you're an investor and you're buying a sh these are short-term bonds or an investor buying a long-term bonds. Well, you would imagine a long-term bond will yield you more more on your investment than a short-term bond, so the curve typically rises. Well, it has flipped, meaning that you make less money on a long-term bond and more money in a short-term, so the curve went down. How does that make sense? How do you make more money on a short-term bond than a long-term bond? Well, basically, it's supply and demand. When more people or investors are buying long-term bonds, the prices increase. When the prices increase, you make less money on that bond. And vice versa, if no one's buying short-term bonds, that means the prices go down and you're making more money on your investment. So why are these investors buying up long-term bonds if it's gonna make them less money? Well, they're predicting that the recession is happening and these long-term bonds are going to expire or come, come to fruition well after the recession ends and they're afraid to buy these short-term bonds because they might happen within the recession. So there you have it, reverse yield curve. Every single time that it's happened, a recession has followed. And if you believe in patterns, well, patterns repeat and it'll probably happen again.